Welcome to Holistic Cancer Care, I'm Dr. Mehmet Isik. Today, we're diving into a critical topic, ivermectin dosage for cancer treatment. There's growing interest in repurposing this medication and in this video, we'll break down the latest research, dosage guidelines, and key considerations you need to know. Could a well-known antiparasitic drug hold promise in the fight against cancer? Many researchers and patients are asking this very question about ivermectin. We're breaking down its potential, dosage guidelines, and key considerations for cancer treatment. Before we dive in, make sure to subscribe to Holistic Cancer Care and hit the notification bell so you never miss powerful insights on natural healing. Give this video a thumbs up if you're ready to take control of your health naturally. Now, let's get started. Ivermectin is known for treating parasitic infections. These include river blindness and scabies. Recently, ivermectin has gained attention for its potential use in cancer treatment. While research is ongoing, preliminary studies suggest that ivermectin might have anti-cancer properties. This essay will explore the current knowledge about ivermectin as a potential cancer therapy. Ivermectin's potential as a cancer treatment lies in its diverse mechanisms of action. One key mechanism is its ability to inhibit the growth and spread of cancer cells. This is achieved by blocking specific pathways that cancer cells need to survive and multiply. Another way ivermectin fights cancer is by inducing apoptosis. Apoptosis is a natural process of programmed cell death that eliminates damaged or abnormal cells. Ivermectin can trigger this process in cancer cells, leading to their self-destruction. Furthermore, ivermectin has been shown to disrupt cancer stem cells. Cancer stem cells are a small population of cells within a tumor that are highly resistant to treatment, and can lead to cancer recurrence. By targeting these cells, ivermectin may help prevent the cancer from coming back. Additionally, ivermectin may enhance the body's immune response to cancer. It can activate immune cells, making them more efficient at recognizing and destroying cancer cells. This immune-boosting effect is crucial in fighting cancer effectively. While research on ivermectin as a cancer treatment is ongoing, there are no established dosage guidelines. Some studies suggest that a dose of 0.2 to 0.4 mg per kilogram body weight per day may be effective. However, it's crucial to consult a healthcare professional for personalized guidance. For example, a 70 kg person would take 14 mg per kilogram to 28 mg mg per kilogram per day. If using 3 mg ivermectin tablets, that would be 4 to 9 tablets per dose. Ivermectin is available in different forms including tablets and oral solutions. It's essential to use pharmaceutical-grade ivermectin from a reputable source and avoid using formulations intended for animals. The duration of ivermectin treatment for cancer may vary depending on the individual and the stage of cancer. Some studies suggest that treatment cycles of a few weeks followed by breaks may be beneficial. It's important to note that ivermectin can interact with other medications. It's essential to inform your doctor about all the medications and supplements you are taking before starting ivermectin. Several dosing schedules have been suggested based on research and anecdotal reports. Low-dose protocol, preventive or supportive use. Dosage, 0.2 mg per kilogram twice per week. Example for 70 kg person, approximately 14 mg twice weekly. Goal, general immune support and cancer prevention. Moderate protocol, based on studies and anecdotal reports, dosage, 0.2 mg per kilogram per day for 3 to 5 days per week, example for 70 kg person, 14 mg daily for 3, 5 days a week, goal, suppresses tumor growth and supports the immune system. High dose protocol, aggressive cancer treatment, dosage, 0.4 mg per kilogram per day for 5, 7 days per week. Example, for 70 kg person, 28 mg daily. Goal, used by some with advanced cancer but should be monitored closely. How long should I take ivermectin? Some patients take ivermectin for 2, 3 months, and then reassess their condition with scans. Others continue long-term, taking breaks as needed. It is often combined with other supplements or therapies. Ivermectin is generally considered safe when used as directed. However, like any medication, it can cause side effects. Common side effects include nausea, dizziness, and headache. 
These side effects are usually mild and temporary. It's important to be aware of potential drug interactions. Ivermectin can interact with certain medications such as blood thinners. It's crucial to inform your doctor about all the medications you are taking. While preliminary research on ivermectin's anti-cancer properties is promising, more studies are needed to confirm its efficacy and safety in humans. It's crucial to approach claims about ivermectin as a cancer cure with caution, and rely on evidence-based information from reputable sources. The future of ivermectin in oncology depends on further research. Clinical trials are necessary to determine optimal dosages, treatment durations, and potential long-term effects. Thank you for watching. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It helps support our channel. Hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update on our latest educational content.